what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Takashi69 is back on the streets and he's already released a trolling video. A judge allowed Takashi to go home and spend his last four months, his four prison months in home confinement because his lawyer argued that because he has asthma, he is in danger of catching COVID-19. So he's back on the streets. I thought that he would be picked up by a crew in a limousine, you know, perhaps a caravan of black SUVs, or perhaps a Rolls Royce or something, helicopter. It appears that he was just released and nobody was there to pick him up, so he jumped into the car with a stranger. But he went on live. And, you know, at first it just seemed like he was just happy to be out and, you know, he was just really, really excited. But then he started flashing his asthma and hella, and it kind of seemed like he was taunting. Uh, maybe I read it wrong. If I did, y'all let me know. Let me know what y'all think. I'll show you the video. I'll put a link in the description. But just appeared to me like it was like yeah man ain't them lawyers they did their thing you know what i'm saying uh personally i i didn't i wasn't buying the whole asthma thing uh a lot of people are using that now as an excuse to try to get out of jail early uh r kelly and bill cosby want out of jail now uh, and a lot of other celebrities want out of jail and just regular people they want out of jail because they like hey man you know, what about me? Y'all letting Takashi out? What about me? You know, what about my life? What about my safety? It's only right, right? If, you know, there's a lot of people in jail that has asthma. Do everybody get to go home and finish their time at home? At least until this thing blows over? I was just watching dude's behavior and I'm not encouraged. I think we're going to see a whole lot more trolling videos in the coming days. He's going right back in to the beef zone. He about to turn it up. I was trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. I know he made his whole career off of trolling. Going after people, beefing, calling folks out. Man, he's right on par to continue. He was way too apt. Had it been me, I would have been happy, but I would have been more reserved after laying low. Well, not laying low, but after being incarcerated. I think he was incarcerated for about a year. You know, get that fresh air, you know, get free from those shackles, those walls. Man, it's a damn good feeling. No matter how long you said, even if you are in there for one day, you know, just when you get out, man, it's just a damn good feeling, man, to be free. But I just don't believe that dude is going to respect it. I think that he's going to jump out there and Turn it all the way up. I thought that he'd have some type of buffer. I thought that he was going to have some security. Like his security was going to be heavy. Hell, just like those strangers rolled up on him, his enemies could have easily rolled up on him. They could have been sitting around there, waiting, you know, just waiting. But I don't know. Maybe some of you guys are right. Probably about 30% of you guys, 30, 40% of y'all pre predicted that. Nobody was going to mess with him. Y'all don't believe these dudes out here got the courage or 
you know, or even have the, the the organizational skills or the resources or whatever it is. Uh, but y'all not believing it. Y'all don't think that they're going to do anything. I ain't wishing bad on them, but I just, I just, I know the streets. And I know some of y'all was comparing his situation to Joy Zimmerman. That's, that's, you can't compare those two situations. Number one, George Zimmerman was a civilian. He wasn't involved in gang activity. And I'm gonna tell you something, uh, you know, gangs, when you are involved in gang activity, activity, when you, you know, whatever go down, it's within gang rules, you know, like, and gang rules are that you are, there are no rules. You jump out there, they got their own rules, put it like that. And they settle their own beefs. They don't go out and settle other folks' beefs. George Zimmerman is Trayvon Martin's father's beef. That's his responsibility. He was supposed to handle that. It's not somebody else's job to handle. You dig what I'm saying? So those are false equivalencies. But in any event, what do y'all think, fam? Drop a comment. No more talk. What the talking about? Yeah.